Hi, my name is Mike Schwartz and I'm the Managing Director of iTech Minerals. Today I'd like to talk to you about our recently announced Caribou Bluff Rare Earth Element and Kaolin Exploration Target. So as many of you may know, we've been drilling since the beginning of the year uh, over on the Air Peninsula in the search for regolith or clay hosted rare earth element mineralization that goes along with high purity kaolin. Uh, we drilled about 260 holes at Karaloo Bluff and today as a result of that drilling we've been able to announce a quite significant exploration target for both rare earths that are hosted within the clay and also the high purity kaolin material. So that exploration target which you can see here is pretty significant. It's 110 million to 220 million tonnes at between 635 and 832 parts per million total rare earths. So it's a large tonnage and relatively high grade. So as part of that, we also have a kaolin component and we measure that with the aluminium oxide um, assay result. So even though we drilled 260 drill holes and we got quite elevated rare earths in most of those holes, we have constrained the exploration target to just 79 of those drill holes. And that is because our model looks at having rare earths within the relatively bright white or high purity kaolin. Now we could have made either the kaolin individually or the rare earth uh, exploration target individually uh, quite a bit larger. But what we have done is constrain it to where we have both the rare earths and the high purity kaolin together uh, in the same drill holes. Now the, the reason that we've constrained these two together is what we're looking at doing is um, is mining or, or digging up the, the bright white kaolin material and then putting it through a metallurgical process where we can extract the rare earth from it and have a rare earth concentrate product and then also a high purity kaolin product. So we believe that doing this really enhances the economic potential of this project. So I've put together some cross sections to give you an idea of the geometry of the mineralization across the Karaloo Bluff prospect. Now the exploration target is relatively shallow. It's only on an average of 12 metres below surface and it's relatively thick, so between 5 and 12 metres thick. So that means you don't have to move as much material to get to where the, the payable uh, ore grade material is. So it has good potential for good economics in that respect. So I've put this slide uh, up which shows some of the chip trays or the drilling material uh, and, and then the grades of the rare earths. And the, what I wanted to show here was the type of material that we're including in this exploration target. So as you can see from the diagram, it is that area where we have that bright white kaolin and also the enriched rare earths. That's the material that we believe we can get two products from. So even though the rare earths extend above and below these bright white kaolin zones, we haven't included that in the exploration target at this point in time. Now, what is important with this style of mineralization that we have at Caroline Bluff is that it is particularly high in the key, key magnet rare earth elements. So that's neodymium, praseodymium, dysprosium, and terbium. And together, those magnet uh, rare earth elements make up 25% of the rare earth element basket, which has the potential to lead to a high basket price. So these are used in the motors of wind tur turbines and also in the motors of electric vehicles. So they're gonna be very much sought after and in demand. So the next real critical step, now that we've got an exploration target, is to understand the metallurgy. Now this is critical because it will determine whether we can economically extract the rare earths from that rich kaolin material. So we currently have 120 samples undergoing metallurgical test work. Uh, we put 60 of those in uh, at least a couple of months ago now and we're eagerly awaiting the results from those. So they are currently undergoing a straight acid leach at pH 1 to 2 and if the, those results come back as positive and we get high recoveries, we'll then move on to a step two component which is an ionic leach where we do it at a pH of 4 and, and, a, and a salt leach. And what those two tests will give us will give us the colloidal component which is the straight acid leach and then it'll also tell us which part is ionic. So we'll be able to work out what metallurgical flow sheet we'll be able to implement to uh, extract those rare earths from the high purity kaolin, have a rare earth concentrate, and then have a high purity kaolin product to sell at the end of that whole process. So as a company, we're looking 
forward to the metallurgical results to come back because that will be the next critical step in the understanding of the economic potential of the Caralee Bluff Rare Earth Element and Kaolin project. So thanks for listening today and stay tuned for more results soon. Bye.